right. Man, let, let me welcome our viewers all over the world. Let me say good morning wherever you are, good afternoon wherever you are, and good evening wherever you are. We can clearly see what is happening on the world news, what is actually happening in Middle East, precisely in Afghanistan. The 20 years the United States is spending on billions of dollars that were put in there, two decades, which is 20 years that we spent there, purposely to train the Afghan forces to change the Taliban regime. Less than 48 hours, they've taken over the country. So what actually gone wrong? What actually happened? We are yet to get into this. After a quick commercial break, you know, we'll see you say you are irresponsible. Most people are saying, say, you blame me, this, the chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, Chairman Miller, should be blamed. Secretary Blinken should be blamed. And the Secretary of the Defense, sorry, Secretary of Defense, yes, Austin should also be blamed. As at Sunday night, now the Taliban forces are now taking over the palace. Very unfortunate. Their Prime Minister, no, I go free crew on them. So now let's see what is happening. Most people are saying, say, we are going back to 1945. In Sego, in Vietnam, not Vietnam, in the United States, that's clearly what we are seeing today. Now people are saying that Biden has failed. What we'll show weakness on the international front? Because leader of the world, here, you don't have to put up with this. You see, six or eight months back, we could see stability everywhere in the world. We share Middle East. Uh, for nothing, Trump was able to hold the place. When he checked the Indo-Pacific, Trump was able to hold the place. And even the influence of Russia and China, Trump was able to put them under control. But what is happening right now? It's like now appeasing policy. Middle East, there is fire today. Indo-Pacific, there is fire today. Now even on the Afghanistan, there is fire today. Is it the right decision to withdraw it? It means all the training. Whatever that we were told, we have about 300 Afghan forces, 300,000 Afghan forces that has been trained with more sophisticated weapons. Meaning I was just on paper, it's just fake. And we were made to believe there's 75,000 Taliban. There's no way somebody can match 300 people. These people did not even face any resistance. Less than 48 hours, are US people, they are not done with evacuation. Now most of the staff from the US Embassy have been instructed so someone destroyed the sophisticated documents. Almost at the end, they think of all up. And we've seen the attack today, right now, our US Embassy, uh, or Kabul. Now they are moving them to the airport. There's also an attack there. It's very unfortunate. I think the leadership of Biden has actually failed. I mean, my heart goes out to the people in Afghanistan right now, because the Taliban taking over, what we are likely to see is that they are bringing back the martial law. Almost mean dress it as they used to. Now they go back into their own rules, they will implement their laws, where we offend you, we are over your public beatings. That's what is going to happen. It's going to be very difficult for the people. Because for the past 20 years, now, even if there wasn't a regime change in Kwan there was a cultural change. Now the people have to go back. Many people are trying to flee the country for their safety, especially along my year translation and on my interpretation of the US forces. No, more they see what airport right now. So now let's get into this after a quick commercial break, you know. You'll be caught into these issues. Max morning, everybody. My name is Dr. Kofi Nyakopong. I'm here today to talk to you about cell longevity. We all agree that we live in a very, very toxic world, right? From the food we eat, to the air we are breathing, to the water we are drinking, so much contaminants. Glutathione plays a very, very essential role in helping to detoxify us and boosting our immune system. And because we are exposed to all these toxins and also we are growing daily, naturally our levels of glutathione deplete. And as the levels deplete, we are also predisposed ourselves to over 74 major health conditions so we need to boost
boost or optimize glutathione levels in our body through our patented ribosine technology, which is the solution. Derived from this ribosine technology is our flagship product, which we call Cellgevity. So what is Cellgevity? Cellgevity is essentially a product that is made from ribosine and also contains 12 other synergistic ingredients. So these synergistic ingredients range from aloe vera, cordyceps, vitamin C, grape seed extracts, resveratrol. All these other synergistic ingredients have tremendous health benefits. Resveratrol is very good for the heart, vitamin C, very good immune booster. Cordyceps, where Asian Chinese folklore, they've been using it for stamina and strength. All these other antioxidants have been added to our patented ribosine and in combination we have what we call celebrity. Most healthy people will notice that their energy levels have improved, their mental focus is very very clear, they sleep better, they have reduced aches and pains and all the other good things that I've mentioned. For most people and within the first 24 hours they begin to feel some benefits and as your glutathione level improves you get other benefits as well. It is important to note that celebrity is not a drug, it is a food supplement. And as glutathione levels are enhanced, miraculous things and amazing things happen to your body. So who should take Celgevity? Whether you have health challenges or you're perfectly fine, you would benefit from having raised levels of glutathione. For those with health challenges, supplementing Celgevity, in addition to whatever the doctors have prescribed, has shown to have great outcomes. People improve well, they are recovering faster. And even if you feel you're perfectly fine, because you're going to benefit from the enhanced sleep, your mental focus being sharp, ability to recover from fatigue, stress, and exercise, and you're also going to derive lots of benefits from taking cell longevity. The dosage is two capsules in the morning, two capsules in the evening. Take it with lots of water because you want to flush out the toxins that are being washed out of your system. People ask me whether there are side effects to take. Just ended with cell longevity. That's a food supplement. I recommend this will be a better. That's one campaign I support your programs. Now let's get into this too. It's called Danstable Services LLC. If you happen to be in the state of Massachusetts, or not so a family member, not a health field, not so looking for a juma. Over now, Fred, if Nipano RN, or LPNC and OHHR, these are the areas that are specialized. Over now, Fred, 978 654 Yeah, main office here, 1934 Lakeview Avenue Building, 6 Drake MH 01826. Now, you am going to these issues very quick. Now, As a commander in chief of the armed forces, okay, who make certain decisions, being as a goat certain way, you take the blame, no doubt. At 48 hours, me and President President Joe Biden, on vacation, the media were calling upon him to come out. The British Prime Minister, a really was a military option and a solution at the moment. Now there were negotiations, US fine came out with a statement saying if any of their men is harmed or moving back on air power. We didn't see it happening yesterday, but what we are seeing right now at the Kabul airport is very ugly. Many people, if you said the president, not just he was the intel failed him, but it was a very wrong decision. Preparation wasn't well made. But immediately I decided to say or oh, start it. I redraw US forces and all. The one who was in charge of the central command resigned because he says that he felt for the people, the innocent people. They are going to be slaughtered, no doubt. The preparation was very bad. The, the figures that they made the president believe say it was accurate. It was enough for 300,000 soldiers, Afghan forces that has been trained to this modern or sophisticated weapons. It's all fiction. Me and I know now we've seen what is happening right now. So now they are shifting the blame, not just on the president. Some are even calling and said they should start impeachment of Joe Biden. To me, I think it's in the right direction. Now let's go to this. He's the chairman of the Joint Defense Staff, which is Chairman Miller. Worked under Donald Trump, at least for nothing, or what background, you know, or new consequences, you know. Only where Trump left off. Because leader be a Uber will be taking challenges. Trump or Biden, you know, they are so smooth. And also, Pekin is certain challenges from Obama. The same way Biden took over, also pick challenges. But here is the case of how you manage it. And it's the most important thing. And we, we are not seeing it that way. So now, people are also blaming the Secretary of Defense, which is Secretary Austin. 
know, so wrong decisions no make it and are resorting to this. It's it's just a disgrace. Aside the humiliation of Grand Omar and Damani, the United States national security and exposed weakness in our leadership. This is clearly what is happening. How is the Soviet Union taking this? And how is the Chinese people taking this? And how will the allies of the United States even take this? Moving forward, country between trust the USB. That is a very important issue where foreign policy is concerned. Now, Blinken is also, a lot of people are also blaming him because he's also part of it. He doesn't want communicating decisions in the world or not. Uh, they're also blaming him. As a foreign secretary, you have a lot of responsibility. And as a leader of the world, you also have a lot of responsibility. It all comes back to these people and the entire administration. And clearly, so be so much failing. You saw some of the images when uh, Afghan Prime Minister and uh, Egan you know, also for the safety and to also avoid bloodshed. The Taliban took over. You can't even imagine this. So all the 20 years I committed the U.S. forces in the United War, nothing came out of it. The billions that were spent, nothing came out of it. Now this is what we are seeing. What is going to be the fate of these innocent people? It means we took two decades, and whatever we did, you know, the enemy are sustaining. That is just the bottom line of it. What is the next move? International force, international leaders. Now it gets us back into 1945 in Sego, in northern Vietnam and southern Vietnam. This is what happened when some of the U.S. forces they were like, no, umu joining in your man. This is what we saw. Very unfortunate situation. I mean, let's see what in few hours what is likely to happen. I mean, they are prioritizing to bring their staffs home, but that's not it. But stability bring any Ediama Afghan for now. So the question is, the decision we made to go there, you know, what actually came out of it? That is a clear humiliation. That's what people are calling. Say, the people I mentioned them, Chairman Miller, Blinken, Austin. They should resign. At least for nothing, they should resign. Not to save the image of the presidency, but to save the entire nation. He has actually filled the world. I mean, looking at this situation, there is no way to media, no media. I mean, there's nothing like defense because actually it has tainted the image of the country. Don't say, ah, there's nothing to be called partisanship. There's not, you can't defend this. But they are thinking about a foreign policy where they are questioning the image of their country. In real time, with this humiliation that happened to the U.S. forces and the United States as a goal. I mean, I will entreat or I will urge every descending person be as one voice out for this personality to leave their post as soon as possible. So we'll just leave it here for now. Once more, thanks for your time.